Hello and welcome to a new video about my ball balancer. Well, I finally made it. I mounted everything, all right? I changed on the right hand side and on the left hand side, I changed to these uh, laser distance measurements. Yeah, here, because in the last video we said we have two laser distance measurements and both are working. So this worked out pretty great. Then I did a little bit of cable management. You see, there is quite a lot of cable. Uh, and all those cables still running out here currently in the moment because here is a hole. Uh, I want to have a control case uh, below this a space. Uh, so it will be then a little bit higher. Uh, and from the front view, it looks pretty decent I would say yeah and I also put in already these LED strips okay so these are these how are they called how are they called WS 2812B LED strips I will never remember them this name yeah all right this inside there yeah? and we can control each pixel on its own and this is what I want to try today. Yeah, there is one in the middle, one pixel in the middle. And I want to indicate where the current measurement is. Yeah, there is the ball. Mm -hmm. All right. So everything should then be in place. I have already wired. I have wired all the stuff. Look at that. Look at that. So these two here are actually plus and minus for the LED strips. So this is 5 volts here. Yeah? I take them from here. This is uh, the, the data line from the LED strip. This is going into 6, yeah? pin number 6. These are the distance measurements, one distance measurement, second distance measurement. Here is the bus, yeah? the I, I2C bus. Yeah? And uh, what is this yellow cable and the orange cable? These are actually turning off. Yeah. This is the package. One is marked in green, one is marked in red. Yeah. It's like on the ship yeah, from, from this point of view, because they say this is front. Yeah. On the right hand side it's green, on the left hand side it's, it's red. Yeah. Like on the like on the ship, and here's my Arduino, and I also put in already those two buttons as well. Mm. Yeah. We'll see. We will see how this turns out. Right now, like I said, uh, I want to code that the the LEDs. First, I want to code that the LEDs are just some doing something. Right? So let's switch to the computer. All right, so at the computer, uh, this is the program from last time. Uh, let's upload this once more and see if this is still working, if we're getting measurements, yeah? Because you know, we have done, done some rewiring and stuff, so this should work proper, hopefully. No, why isn't it not working? Ah, I need to power up, I need to power up. Uh, Oh, we have a really flashy and nice, nice effect on the LEDs. Press reset. Hopefully this is working now. All right. You see the right one? That's on, on this side. It's 18 centimeters. It's getting bigger and the left one is getting smaller. So actually this is working. Actually this is working. I have a nice flashy. Look at that. <laughs> There are already some LEDs lit, so the power supply is working, it seems like. Good, good. And I'm going to use a uh, fast LED. I've used this in a previous, uh, in a previous uh, video project, and I think it's working pretty well. So, and now, ooh, this one. I want to have this in order somehow have this in blocks to make it better. Ooh. and then we have here define 
uh, how to call it, LED, RGB LED pin. This is the data pin, should be six. Also make, it's looking pretty decent. All right, what we also need, uh, what we also need is, you know, um, how much brightness? We call it 64. Then we need some configuration. Uh, LED type. And this is this is WS2818B, uh, 12B. Alright, this is the LED type. Then we need to have how much uh, the, the color. And this in this case it's green, red, blue. This is all necessary for this uh, fast LED library. And then we define how many LEDs there are. And there are 35 LEDs. 35 LEDs, I think. Yeah. This is at least this is this was accounted. And now let's start and define our LED C RGB. In here the color of all RGB LEDs is stored. Yeah? It's an array of a special type. And if I set one LED, one LED to a, to a color, yeah, then this is what will show, hopefully. <laughs> uh, in setup, uh, we have to call this uh, fast LED dot add LEDs and then we have LED type this is why I defined this RGB LED pin the pin number yeah. then a uh, color and then the variable where I store the, the, the data and the count of the data that's it now the fast LED library is initialized yeah. Then I set the brightness. All right. And then I will set all, all LEDs to zero. Okay. So I will simply say for int i equals zero. i is more than num LEDs. i plus plus. Leads from i equals RGB this is I think how how you define it now CRGB is called CRGB and it's zero 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 right. now I say every LED should be black or not lit at all mm -hmm. and here down here I'm going to add I want just to the LED I just want to have lit one after the other. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. I will call uh, static int lit pose. So it should start at zero. Yeah. Then I will and I will use white because then I see if every every color is the same. Yeah. And then I will say if lit pose equals Zero. Yeah. Uh, leads for num LEDs minus one, of course. Then minus one yeah. equals CRGB. I will turn. I will turn this off. So if we are at zero position, I will turn the last one off. Else, I will turn off the previous. So lead post minus one. The previous LED equals and this is the same. All right. So the one at the lead position is white, and the one previous one is black. Yeah. And then I will call fast LED dot show. Then we should see this. And then we call lead post plus plus, and lead post equals lead post modulo num LEDs. That I prevent it from over going over over the maximum mam LED. Okay, so if I upload this now, 
we should see a dot going from this to there, a white dot, hopefully. Disco, 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 disco. Oh, there is an error. <laughs> an error in the disco. Disco, 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 disco. We'll see. Yeah, look, you come. Ah, uh, here you see the dog. Wanderer. I'm a wanderer. I'm a wanderer. And yes, going up to the last one, every color is the same. So we can indicate something. Good. Good. And now let's just do indication of the measurement. Hopefully this is working. So how many centimeters? I think one LED per centimeter or something like this. So LED is one, hmm, this is a strange number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 16.5 millimeter, I would say. 16.5 millimeter. 16.5 millimeter is the distance between two LEDs. Okay? 16.5 millimeter. And I will just use I will just make this measurement here. Measurement divided by how to do this? Measurement multiply by 10 divided by 16.5. This should work. This is the new position. Then I will say leads from uh, uh, lead bus is zero again. This is the old position. Then I will say lead bus equals this. I don't need this variable. I always tend to save variable. And then I will say lead from lead bus equals. And now it's the left measurement. So I will. Ooh, of course I had to do 600 minus. Think, because it's the left measurement and I put in from the right and it's 600 millimeters. Uh, all right. I will limit this lead pose equals maximum from zero, zero and lead pose and lead pose equals minimum from uh, um, LEDs minus one. Okay, limit this and now I will set it's the left measurement so I'll set it to green R green and this should this should be the trick at least from the left measurement from the left measurement I think we should see now uh, ooh, no, this is a plate in ooh this is all a plate in <laughs> Commander Retour this I don't need, the running light, no longer, I will show here, after. I'm not sure if you can see it. Okay, ooh, there's a green light, under. Hmm. That's not the correct way. The left measurement is 20, 240, what is? What is calculated here? I mean, it seems to work pretty nice, but in the wrong direction. Ah, you see. Ah. Yeah, I already realized this is this is strange. Hmm. What is wrong? Ah, again, same, the same. Yeah. Of course, this is why I have just my hands. My hands got my hands. Now we should be in the correct position for the ball. See if you use this ball, I think it probably can be better. And I think it should work as well, this ball. Okay, looking good. And it always stops here. It seems there is some very maximum of, of measurement range. 
All right. All right. And now I will do here the same. I will simply no longer print this. I will simply no longer print this. I will speed it up. Maybe 10. I'm not sure if this is even necessary. And now... Hmm. Here we have a problem. Huh. But I also don't want... How to get the screen? Let's have a look in the fast LED library. <laughs> there also something like set red or something. I will deal with this. I will deal with this offline. Uh, here, uh, left, right, broke. Because there is no. I have to look into the how to mix colors. And here, just to use the measurement. And here, I want to have this red. Now we should see a red and a green dot, hopefully. Then I'm satisfied. Oof, it's flashy. Oh, it's Christmas. Alright, it's not looking too bad, I would say. Yeah, we'll make a little bit fine tweaking. So, a little bit there. Disco, 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 disco. Oh, good. We'll try to make a little bit, you know, make this a little bit more stable, uh, that we don't have this noise on there. This will I will explain in the next video how I've done this. But it's done. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.